What has Steve Nash's job been like this year from your front row seat that where Kyrie kind of went on walk about a couple times and we all know about Durant and his injuries as he was gone and then Harden gets hurt after a late arrival. Um, Blake Griffin comes in. I mean, this this is a first year head coach despite his <laughs> greatness as a player. What 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 has that been like from your perspective? Yeah, I think it's it's probably gone under the radar a little bit, Rich, that he walked into a situation that had very high expectations, almost a championship or bust mentality, and he kept this thing afloat. They've won a bunch of games without Kevin Durant. They've won a bunch of games without James Harden. They've won a bunch of games without Kyrie Irving. They problem-solved. They figured some things out. They willed themselves to the finish line in a few games where they didn't have the talent that they expected to have on the floor. And I think that's going to serve them well once they hit the postseason, that it wasn't all about the big three. The others carried their own weight. The season that Jeff Green put together and Joe Harris and the contributions of Bruce Brown and Landry Shamit and Blake Griffin later on when he joined the squad and Nicholas Claxton, who was a revelation down the stretch. So all of that is something I would put in the larger equation. What I would say about Steve is he just had the perfect temperament. He's handled everything with incredible balance. He's never gotten too out of sorts. He's never gotten too low. He's never actually gotten too high and celebrating the wins. And I think that's going to serve him well now going into uncharted territory for him. He's never been through this, never been a head coach, certainly has never faced a playoff series where every decision could play a role in whether you win a game or win a series. And you'll be held to a a certain level of scrutiny based on those decisions that you make in game. He's well aware of it. He's uh, really got the right state of mind to do this job. And he's really turned out to be the perfect person to handle big personalities and his ability to relate to the superstar and then the 10th, 11th, 12th man. Steve was not a surefire superstar. He had to work really hard to become the player that he became. Not saying that other guys don't work really hard, but he had to overcome a lot of obstacles along the way, people that didn't think he could be at this level. And I think that's allowed him to relate and connect with everybody on the roster. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.